voting on the show far by me being here. We were waiting for Sean to show up on this day. The sound of the show far says we expect a response from you, not from us. We expect to see you move. The awakening is now. The awakening is here. The people standing here. The people that will be involved in the sin. The awakening is not something we ask for. It's something that's right. And we ask for you to create an awakening in, in your people. Because it starts with your people first. And then moves out to them. So we humbly submit and relinquish all control. I just promise to be here and listen to your spirit. Jamie, do you have some stories for us about what happened today? Yeah, I prayed for a lady a few minutes ago over here who uh, got out of the car with crutches and uh, she had uh, she had hurt her ankle. Um, she told us that her pain was at a seven. When she got out of the car, her ankle was uh, very swollen, it was black and blue. She had a boot on it and um, so we prayed for her and uh, the pain went down from a, from a, from a seven, zero being no pain, Ten being bad enough to put you in the hospital. From a seven, it went down to a three. So we prayed for her again. And the pain went down to a zero, and then there was just some tingling. So uh, we talked a little while and prayed again. And uh, the tingling is completely gone now. All the little spot on the side of her foot, um, and the pain is completely gone. She has no pain at all. So right now she's involved with doing the set and music. Psalm 91, which is, uh, the Lord was just showing me that. And, uh, you know, the idea of being under the covering of His wings and what that looks like. And so the tree is um, kind of representing us as, as kids. Uh, so being under His shelter, under the shadow, so that's, that's basically what we're talking about. blessing over her as a daughter of Israel and she was just like totally open wanted it multiplied and increased and she was you know praying for her country and uh, so anyway we had just an amazing time of prayer with her she's totally open 
husband to our father. So we were walking, uh, looking for a homeless person, and I saw two black women at the snack bar. And I went up to them, I said, lady, God told me to come bless you. And they just perked up, and they loved it, and I blessed them and spoke over them. And then we, we left, and as we were walking down the sidewalk, we saw two more women and with a child, and we stopped. Their names are Yolanda and Mary. We said, the, and Yolanda fit one of the clues of beads on sandals. So we started talking to Yolanda, and Mary just started, amen. Mary started, hallelujah. And Yolanda started crying. And we spoke to her the same things that Mary had been speaking to her, the same things that God has been speaking to her heart. We prayed over Yolanda. And the Holy Spirit was so strong, it was just hard to stand up. And then when we finished praying for Yolanda, I looked at Mary and I said, what do you want? She says, I want to be married someday. She's 51 years old. She don't look it. She says, I want to be married. So we prayed over Mary that God would send her a godly man who would love her the way she deserves to be loved and who would love the Lord as much as she does. It was amazing how those clues that we got while we sat here really were open doors to bless people in Jesus' name. Hi, I'm John. Cheryl was praying for a lady with uh, her tooth was aching. I prayed for her, the pain left. I came along and I asked if I could pray for anything. And uh, she had pain in her hips in her leg. I measured her leg. The left leg was slightly shorter than the right leg. That came out. She felt the leg come out. The pain left. And she goes, oh, can you pray for my neck? So I prayed for her neck. The pain left. And she says, oh, are you, do you pray for inner healing? I go, yes. And she goes, can you pray for me for that? So she shared her story and a lot of the of the hurt and stuff went away so we were cold yeah i'm just down here prophesied to a couple people the one guy the Lord said he's going to New York, so I told him he's going to New York, and as soon as I said it, the cannon went off from over at the Star of India. So, he's like, I've been planning that trip for three years, how did you know that? So it was a big affirmation to him, he thought it was really uh, significant that the cannon would go off right when I said it, so yeah, I just see people get touched by the Holy Spirit. Mostly for me, it's been prophecy today. And I prophesied to a pilot for uh, American West Airlines who was kind of in a, a rut and he said that he uh, felt like God was bringing him into a new season based on the prophetic words given and the, and the things going on in his life. So yeah, I just see a lot, a lot of people get touched and I'm looking at this sign right here. I don't know if you can turn the camera that way or not, but you got the walk prayer sign right there, and then the American flag going right behind it. So America wants prayer, is what I say. The prophetic sign that I'm getting right now. So pray for America, everybody. Thank you very much.